everyone, welcome back to Staffordshire Car Care. To kickstart this week, we have two Hyundai's, an i20N and a Tuscan. Stick around or we'll show you what else is coming in this week. Greg, what are you up to? Getting rid of this old glue residue. It's a bit of a pain, but it will eventually come off just from the factory. So what have you done there? Soaked it in tar and glue. Wait for it to uh, break it down slowly. And hopefully the, the, the glue residue should come off and we'll have a nice clean screen. The coating choice for this car is Gion Q2 Infinite Base Type 1. It's going to be perfect for the ownership duration and the mileage that the owner is going to be doing. So we'll show you what's inside the box and a few short clips of the coating being installed. Let's take a look at what's inside Gion Q2 Infinite Evo Base Type 1 box. You have your applicator as normal, suede side and a microfiber side. You have the bottle, on this case it is a 30ml. You have your coded sticker which relates to the warranty card and the information, which your warranty information is here too, with all the contents, door stickers, warranty card. You have as well your maintenance guide telling you how to maintain your car once the installation has been completed. A unique addition is the degrease tabs that you can use after machine polishing to wash the vehicle down, ready for your ceramic coating. So that's what's inside the Q2 Infinite Evo Base Type 1 box. Some keen-eyed viewers may notice that in our videos we're not wearing gloves when handling ceramic coatings and chemicals. Our videos are more of a cinematic representation of what we're doing and not 100% accurate. Our main focus is the treatment itself and the video is more of an added bonus to the customer and for your viewing pleasure. Now we reached out to a few of our friends and asked them what their thoughts were on this topic and the answers literally came back as yes we should be wearing gloves and so should you. Now if you are installing high levels of coatings on a daily basis then yes coatings will get onto your skin and can cause problems. If you have sensitive skin or a skin issue yes wear gloves. So be sensible Use common sense, and if you are using chemicals and products with solvents, etc. in them, then it would be advised to wear them. So I hope that answers the question, and we'll head off to another question now. The second car on the list to start off the week was the Hyundai Tuscan. As you can see behind us on the ramps with its wheels off, which are down there being coated, the two-stage machine polish has been completed uh, along with the ceramic coating to the paint, which leads us to the question, uh, what do I do with my car once I've purchased it and it needs to be booked in with you but you can't book us in for at least three or four weeks what do I do with the car whilst I'm waiting so you can use the car as much as you like but secondly what we ask people to do is not to wash the car to save inducing any marring or any defects into the paint before coming to us otherwise we'd have to do extra polishing to try and remove them which then will be increased charges so Yes, you can use your car, you can do what you like, but we just ask people just not to wash the car until the car arrives. We get asked a lot on a daily basis, what's the best product for cleaning my glass, cleaning my interior, washing and polishing my car? And there are so many products out there that it will take you forever to get through every single one of them to find out what that product is. Now to hop skip over all that testing, we recommend a channel, our good friend, Pan the Organizer. He's been creating content since 2016 and has an absolute wealth of information about car detailing products and the industry. So let me introduce you to our good friend, Pan the Organizer. So hi Craig and hi to uh, all of the Staffordshire car care uh, viewers from the YouTube channel out there. I hope I said that correctly. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. So I'm Pan the Organizer from the uh, Pan the Organizer YouTube channel where we talk about car detailing. So product reviews, tutorials, so on and so forth. I just finished detailing this uh, gorgeous Tesla Model Y. Uh, it's been a heck of a day. So wash, uh, decontamination, machine polishing, and of course application of a ceramic coating. Uh, I'm detailing from my garage with uh, maybe just a few car detailing products, right? So it's beyond passion for me. It's uh, become an obsession. I've been detailing for roughly 25 years now, and I love to share my knowledge and passion with all my viewers. So uh, if you haven't uh, seen my videos yet, 
Come and have a look. Uh, you're more than welcome to join the PAN, the organizer family. And uh, yeah, Craig, you're doing some awesome work, my friend. Keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, you represent the uh, UK quite proudly out there. And uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, more collaborations between us. So cheers to uh, all your fans out there. And guys, come and have a look at my videos on my YouTube channel. Thanks. Two times a year we have an influx of brand new cars which makes sense to have them nice and protected when they come fresh from the factory. Yeah. 22 registration is the year right now so that's probably why you'll see a lot of new cars from us. We do do uh, used cars as well and if you want to take a look at those there'll be some videos in our list to take a watch. So two vehicles have now left, the Hyundai Tuscan and the Hyundai i20N. After completing the both machine polishes and all the ceramic coatings applied to those vehicles, we're going to show you what they look like now. Current situation, the Polo GTI has left. Gentleman who owns that car came to see us five or six years ago and was happy, lives all the way over in Silverstone. There was plenty of opportunity for him to go and see detailers around there, but we're so proud and very humble that he travels all the way to come and see us, which is super cool. Uh, and we're so happy that he's happy and we'll be glad to see him again in another five and six years time, which is a good testament to the coatings. They worked absolutely fine. Now, the Toyota Yaris GR, Greg is currently polishing it, is getting it ready for the ceramic coatings that are soon going to be applied, which is Q2 Mo's Evo. Uh, that will be completed for Friday afternoon, so tomorrow afternoon, so the customer will be excited to come and collect that. Now, the new entry, Porsche GT4, is gonna be with us for about three to four days, seeing us through into the weekend, and maybe the early part of the week, having single stage machine polish, all its wheels removed, and ceramic coatings applied to those. All the plastic trim, the glass, interior, fabrics, and is also having paint protection film. It is going to be installed on the bonnet, front bumper, the wings, sills and also the rear bumper splash. I think it's going on a little bit of a driving tour uh, somewhere, so that'll be protected ready for that and a track day here and there. So stick around and we'll go through the results and show you what they look like when they are finished. Over to another question. So we've got a question to ask you guys, what is your favorite car cleaning product? Why would you recommend it? And we'll find it and use it ourselves and see what we think. <laughs> What's your girlfriend doing tonight, Greg? Yeah. <laughs> so we've reached Friday afternoon and the Toyota Yaris is ready. It has had its two-stage machine polished to the paint. We've applied paint protection film, Gion Protect Plus which is a self-healing film with a hydrophobic coating installed on it already. So that will match the ceramic coating areas. We've done the bonnet, we've wrapped around all the edges. We've also done the front bumper, the wings. We've took the badges off, customer's request, and left those off. We've also done the sills all the way up to the rear, and we've put a rear arch impact kit on there as well. The wheels have also been removed. They've been coated on the fronts, the barrels, the calipers, and the arch liners as well, to so make washing nice and easy in the future. So, customer will come to collect this very soon. Then we'll move over onto the Porsche GT4 to carry out pretty much exactly the same kind of treatment on that as well. So stick around and we'll show you the results of the Toyota Yaris GR.
then, we got to Friday afternoon, finally. The, all the cars that were scheduled for this week have left. The Toyota Yaris GR was the last vehicle to leave us after having all its treatments. Really nice to meet the owner of that car. He was super happy and took a little bag with him as well. A uh, little few little treats we put together for him. So where are we now? A few cars that have entered us are the GT4, which you saw previously. That is in the middle of having its paint protection film applied to its front end, uh, bonnet, that's a bumper, bumper, headlights, wings, bonnet, sills, rear arch bumper splashes, all those areas that are perfect for a track. A Tesla Model 3 having a single stage machine polish and ceramic coatings to the paint. The Porsche GT4 behind me arrived on a covered transporter and was prepared by the dealership, which is absolutely fine. There were some products being used to make the plastic trim look glossy. As you can see in this clip, underneath the hood, it does look glossy and they have achieved it. However, via a greasy product. The greasy product is patchy and it doesn't look all that great. The biggest downside to using a greasy product, like on rubber tires or plastic trim, is when you come to wash the car afterwards, you're gonna use your wash mitt, go over those greasy areas and transport greasy products all around your car and it's gonna be nasty. To solve this problem, we're gonna strip back the product and apply Gion Q2 trim. That will permanently make the plastic look lust and nice and with an OEM finish. And we'll show you the results in an upcoming video very soon. Once again, we've arrived at the end of a busy week. This time the studio is not empty and we have some cars still left inside that are gonna take us through into next week. Thank you, Pan, for featuring on this video and saying hello to us, I hope you're all well. And don't forget to go and subscribe to his channel and take a look. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support as normal. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the icon button to be notified when our next video is uploaded. And we'll see you again in the next coming video soon. Keep a look out for the Polo GTI video and some more videos coming up very, very soon in the next couple of weeks. So cheerio, thank you very much and bye-bye.